Welcome back to another episode of the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with today's guest, but first let's hear from our podcast sponsors. We want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the trusted leader in digital ticketing. Hometown helps thousands of schools and organizations across the country seamlessly provide convenient digital ticketing options for their communities, their families, and their fans. Hometown Ticketing is the leading digital ticketing provider, and they can help you uh, set up your program to sell tickets, scan attendees, collect your revenue, and the customer support is also tremendous. Hometown Ticketing does digital ticketing for all types of events, not just athletics, but performing arts, dances, even graduation. To find out how Hometown Ticketing can help you and your program, go to hometownticketing.com and talk to their experts. Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms, the industry leader in forms and registration. But Final Forms is more than that. Final Forms can help your stakeholders with things like mobile accessibility, and they have reminders for parents about policies, and physicals, and all the forms that go with athletics. Final Forms can also help your coaches with things like team communication and attendance, and even help your coaches with certification management. And for athletic directors, Final Forms can help with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. And it does this with secure language translation. You know, it's time that you talk to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps and find out what Final Forms can do for you, go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake to get started with the Final Forms team. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Go to gipper.com and see how athletic directors and coaches are creating custom branded content for their school social media channels. You can do it in seconds on any device and you don't need any design experience. It's so simple, even I can do it. We use Gipper to announce our podcast episodes and it's also the backdrop. Uh, we use a Gipper template for that. Go to gipper.com and see how athletic directors are creating world-class marketing content for their school's social media channel. That's gipper.com. We also want to thank Huddle. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. Over 200,000 teams use Huddle to help their athletes perform at the highest level using video and analytics. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years, and as an athletic director, we were a Huddle school. Our coaches just love the online tools, the smart cameras in our gym, the analytics, and the customer service was just tremendous. Huddle's also built for every level of play, whether you're a club or youth coach or high school, college, or pro, Huddle can help you and your organization. You're in pretty good company with over 6 million users, including your student athletes and the coaches of the college teams you're trying to get to recruit them. You want to find out more about how Huddle can help you and your program and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to Huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. We also want to thank the good folks at SnapRaise. Go to SnapRaise.com and find out how their platform can help you and your program. Get away from the fundraising headaches of the past. There's no more selling. There's no upfront cost. Um, you can track the progress of your fundraiser. And what's more important, it actually works. Okay? Choosing the best fundraiser for you and your group is critical. And you should put the snap raise difference to work for you. Our coaches use snap raise with their programs and raised tremendous amounts of money for their program. And if you go to snapraise.com, you can see the hundreds of coaches that have raised thousands and thousands of dollars using snapraise.com. Change your fundraising game plan and start a fundraiser that works for you. Go to snapraise.com. We also want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys um, allows you to collect comprehensive data quickly, easily, and affordably, and it allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. At my schools, we use surveys for just about everything, for classroom teachers, for coaches, parents, and student athletes, and the results were almost always overwhelmingly positive, which is cool to hear, 
but it also gave that squeaky wheel parent an opportunity to vent and maybe identify a small problem that you could take care of and keep it from turning into a big problem because you didn't know about it because you hadn't done the survey. Go to athleticsurveys.com or send them an email at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Let them show you how to take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to say thank you to Sideline Interactive. Their indoor scoring tables and video boards not only collect revenue for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and check out what their fantastic products can do for you. You can also schedule a live web demo. Email them today at sales at sidelineinteractive.com. And we want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they are on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They've got a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles and an extensive library of templates to make it easier to recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. Email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com and let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Educational AD Podcast. We've got a really cool guest today. We're bridging the world of uh, coaching, athletic directing, and uh, I guess partnerships. Uh, our guest is Tyler Whitcomb. Tyler is the Director of Customer Advocacy and Engagement for SnapRaise. You might recognize SnapRaise as one of our customer or one of our uh, sponsors, uh, but he's also um, got a, a, a long experience uh, in the world of athletics as a coach, as an athletic director, and we're very excited to have him on the podcast today. Tyler, welcome to the Educational Lady Podcast. Thanks, Jake. Hey, thanks for having me on. And again, I want to talk to you about um, just how, how excited I am to be on this podcast because as an athletic director, this is my favorite athletic director podcast. I listen to it every day. I'm a big fan of it. So uh, excited to be on. Oh, gosh, we appreciate that support. Um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll keep those listeners coming. Well, as you know, uh, we always like to let our listeners have a chance to get to know our guests. So give us that quick bio, where you were born, uh, where you grew up, kind of take us up to the college years, and then we'll take a break and we'll come back and uh, hear some more about your coaching and AD career. Sure. So I grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I played about every sport as a kid. I played uh, football wrestling, basketball, and baseball, um, all the way up until, and, you know, I got to high school and then high school, I had to choose, you know, between my two favorite sports of wrestling and basketball. I was a big basketball junkie. I was probably better at wrestling, but I chose basketball. Um, and, you know, I played football. I loved football. So football and basketball are the two sports I played. I ended up dropping baseball just because it took up a lot of time for me. I love multi- sport athletes, but um, I just, I wanted to pick two and really focus on, um, played those, uh, had a, I can't say I had a great career, but I had a career. Um, I enjoyed them both. Um, I ended up going to Kalamazoo Valley Community College out of high school. Uh, I got to uh, work under uh, a Hall of Fame basketball coach and athletic director named Dick Schultz. So I had, uh, he was the first guy to give me a real crack at it. He got me into coaching. And then from there, um, I've coached at about six different high schools from Grand Rapids Catholic Central to Union High School, my alma mater, to um, I've coached Tri-Unity Christians Girls. Um, that's where Chris Kamen went. Um, and then I ended up uh, making it to West Michigan Aviation Academy, where uh, Dick DeVos, the owner of the school, hired me um, to be the athletic director. And as the athletic director, I was also the basketball coach. Um, I ended up finishing along the way at Concordia University of Chicago, getting a sports uh, recreation and management uh, bachelor's degree. I ended up getting a registered athletic administration certificate uh, from NIAAA. Um, never finished my uh, CAA, but I was working on it. Um, just kept running into, um, I just didn't quite have the time. Um, along 
the way also, I owned a semi-professional basketball team called the Grand Rapids Flight and a sports facility called Rivertown Sports, where we had everything from roller hockey to cage fighting to roller derby girls. And that's where I got a lot of my experience of facility management. Um, and then at Aviation Academy, that's where I was the athletic director for um, six years. Loved it. Uh, we, I took over a program that was kind of the doormat of the league. Um, and, you know, six years later, uh, we won seven out of 10 conference championships. Love my experience there. Love the school. Great student athletes, great staff. And I ended up getting remarried uh, in a place about 40 minutes from Grand Rapids, moved there, needed to find a, a different school, ended up being the athletic director there. Um, Love that opportunity, uh, had really good teams in the fall, but then our principal left and they talked me into being the principal of the school. So with no experience, no background, I was a principal for about 10 months. Um, very challenging. Um, I mean, it had its rewards. There's uh, some positives with it, but in the long run, I mean, I just, I love athletics and I wanted to get back in athletics and along the way as well, um, I used snap raise as a fundraiser and I loved them. I mean, they were a big part of why I succeeded in building brand awareness. So I was able to create a lot of resources through snap fundraise. And I was able to get the best looking gear. We kind of Oregoned it, if, you, if that's a word. Um, I used some Phil Knight uh, um, expertise. And every single season, we had new uniforms there, the top of the line uniforms. And we had, you know, I went after the best coaches in the area. Um, we ended up being real relevant on social media. And by doing that, we were able to um, get a different student athlete that came in the door. Um, I remembered also I taught along the way I had to teach PE when I first started out there. And I mean, we, I had to quit playing um, flag football because kids couldn't even catch a ball, it's hit them in their face and I didn't want to get any kids injured. So, um, you know, but again, along the way, we ended up getting some uh, better student athletes um, and they, they maintained the mission of the school along the way. Um, my last year there, I talked about how we won seven out of 10 camp conference titles, but also our overall GPA for all sports is a 3.86 in the fall. Overall GPA of the cross country, um, soccer, volleyball is a 4.06. I mean, these kids were, um, you know, students first and it was amazing. I had a lot of uh, great experience. And then when SNAP came to me and, and offered me a job to basically uh, my titles to engage uh, our customers, but also work with athletic directors on fundraising opportunities and just kind of be, um, you know, just be in that space of athletic directors, much what you're doing. Um, we're looking at doing a newsletter and, and just really working with athletic directors, giving them the resources that they need to be successful. Wow. Uh, you, you covered a lot of ground there. Um, um, we're going to go and take a break, but when we come back, I want to talk a little bit about that athletic director experience and some of the other things too. Uh, for our listeners, uh, our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb. He's the Director of Customer Advocacy and Engagement for Snap Rays, also a longtime uh, coach and athletic director. Let's take a quick break, but we'll be back with some more. This is the Educational AD Podcast. We want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the trusted leader in digital ticketing. Hometown helps thousands of schools and organizations across the country seamlessly provide convenient digital ticketing options for their communities, their families, and their fans. Go to hometownticketing.com and they'll tell you how to you know, sell your tickets digitally, how to scan the people that come to your games, collect your revenue, that's important, and also their tremendous customer service. Hometown Ticketing also does more than just athletic events. Uh, they can help you set up for performing arts, for dances, even for graduations, as well as all of your sports. Go to hometownticketing.com and talk to their experts. Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing. Welcome back, everyone, to the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb. Tyler's with snapraise.com. We're going to hear more about that later in the show, but uh, also has a tremendous uh, background as a coach and as an athletic director. I want to jump into that. Uh, Tyler, you mentioned that uh, you know, you'd been coaching at the school and you were approached about becoming the athletic director at kind of a young age. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that experience. You know, what were some of the exciting things? What were some of the challenges that you remember 
about, uh, as I like to say, coming to the other side of the desk? Um, at first, you know, along the way as a coach, you have a vision of what an athletic director would look like. And I'm going to do it this way. And then you get in that um, seat and you start to realize like there's, um, it's about developing relationships. It's about developing your coaches. And those are things, you know, you're just thinking at the time when you get the job, all right, I can schedule games. I can get referees here on time. I can follow up with everyone. I'm organized. You know, I can do all the little things that it takes to be an athletic director. But what I didn't realize at a young age is how important it was to build brand awareness, how important it was to have relationships with parents, how important it was to learn the community, how important it was to really, really dive into your coaches and give them that, um, you know, just give them that support that they needed. I mean, we get in so much turnover now with coaches and it's what was really important is when I came in at first, I was just all about evaluating them. And if they fit, I kept them. And if they didn't, I got rid of them. And what I learned along the way is you just want those dynamic people that can really build relationships with kids and families and be able to support them and be able to teach them life skills on and off the for, uh, field or court. And we were able to do that just by diving into these coaches and bringing them in and working with them, evaluating them more, but then also giving them uh, construct uh, really good criticism, you know, to where we're sitting down with them. If you have you tried it this way and, and just more instead of telling them, asking them um, of things that they could do a little bit differently. And by able to do that, by being able to create those relationships with those coaches, they were doing the same thing with their players and, and parents. And it just made it, um, it just made it the cause overall was just a little bit, um, just more of what I was looking for, more of, it, you know, and I, I felt like the staff enjoyed it more and, and they were able to, even the staff were to um, really build those relationships as well with the coaches. And, and I feel uh, that's how we really made progress, um, you know, along the way, that and brand awareness where I think were the two keys. Yeah, the expression, uh, you don't know what you don't know, uh, is, is so apt for coming into those leadership positions. You know, I remember, uh, you know, I'd coached for a long time. I'd been a head coach and I was approached to become the AD and I'm thinking, yeah, I can do this. Uh, but again, there's just so many things and, and you hit it on the head. I think those relationships with coaches, with parents, with kids, with administrators and everybody, uh, it, it took me a while to figure out how important that was. So. Appreciate you sharing that. Oh, absolutely. For our listeners, our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb. He's with snapraise.com. We're going to hear a little bit more about that in a minute, uh, but he's got a, a great background as an AD and as a coach. So um, we're going to take another break. Please stay with us. This is the Educational AD Podcast. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms, the industry leader in registration. But Final Forms is more than that. Final Forms is a team, it's technology, and they can help your stakeholders with things like compliance, communication, and risk management. Final Forms can help your parents with uh, mobile accessibility. Uh, they have reminders about physicals, about policies, and all the forms that come with athletics. Final Forms can help your coaches with team communication and attendance, and even help with their certification management. And for athletic directors, Final Forms can help you with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. And it does this with secure language translation. You know, it's time for you to talk to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps and find out what Final Forms can do for you and your program, go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake to get started with the Final Forms team. Welcome back, everyone, to the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest is Tyler Whitcomb. Tyler, uh, we always give our guests the opportunity to kind of give a shout out to the mentors that they've had in their lives. You know, no one gets to where they're at uh, on their own. So who are some of the people that have helped you along the way? I have three. So Dick Schultz, the guy that I talked about earlier, he was at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. I think he had over 600 wins as a community college basketball coach. He was at Western Michigan as well as a head coach. He actually coached against Magic Johnson when he played at state. So uh, quite a few years back, uh, but just a great guy. He's one that brought me in. He uh, got me into athletics. He uh, took a chance at me 
And we just had a relationship over the years. You know, we still talk here and there, you know, when we can. Uh, but just a, a big influence in my life and getting me going in athletics and in basketball. Uh, the second guy would be Larry Fisher. Um, he was the dean of students at uh, West Michigan Aviation Academy. He was just a guy that I really learned from and loved to uh, watch him in action, just deal with kids. He was just so upbeat and such a positive role model. And he was a good coach too. He's a cross country coach. And I just loved everything about him, how he approached uh, student athletes. And it, it was just a guy that I really grew under at Aviation Academy. Um, and then the other guy was more of a basketball, uh, Sam Cornett. Um, I was his JV coach years back, but he was a varsity coach. He, uh, he came from a program that won a state title. And then he came to this program that was a little bit down in talent. And I just really learned a lot of X's and O's, like he deep dive in, into basketball and um, just really helped me out. Um, I loved uh, the relationships I had with those three. They were really uh, key into my development and I'll always uh, be thankful for those three. I am a professional podcaster. I need to remember to unmute myself. Uh, I just love to hear those stories, as you've heard me say many times, but it's true. And I love it when you people still have that connection with their mentors. They're still mentoring. Um, as you look uh, at the direction and the trajectory of your career, um, are you seeing any opportunities yourself to mentor that next generation coming up behind you? Absolutely. So any any time I've had a coach work under me, I've always loved to be able to help them develop, um, giving them every chance I can, letting them run drills at practice. Um, I have a coach that was under me. Now he's a girls coach. Um, actually about two hours away from where we coach together and he's constantly calling me asking me for advice and I love it you know I, I, I don't mind staying on the phone with him because even when it's an hour conversation just because I love how he's given back to the to the girls that he coaches but even as an athletic director I've had uh, I've had an assistant athletic director that really uh, worked hard uh, understood what it took to uh, make it in the athletic field and it was just fun to to work with them and give them assignments and watch them succeed yeah as an athletic director i, I think if uh, you're not looking for you know those coaches and they could be young or they could be veteran that uh, have some skills and 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 want to uh, stretch their wings a little bit uh they can become tremendously valuable members of your athletic department staff and hopefully you can nudge them into their own career in athletic administration very cool stuff absolutely once again, for our listeners, our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb. He's a longtime AD and coach, and now he works for snapraise.com. We're going to find out a little bit more about SnapRays when we come back. Please stay with us. This is the Educational AD Podcast. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Go to gipper.com and see how athletic directors, coaches, and schools are creating world-class marketing content for their school's social media channels. You can do it in seconds on any device, and you don't need any design experience. As I like to say, it's so easy, even I can do it. We use Gipper to help announce our podcast episodes, and my backdrop for uh, our Zoom conferences is a Gipper template. Go to Gipper.com and start creating world-class marketing content. Welcome back, everyone, to the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb, longtime athletic director and coach, but now he's working for Snap Raise, uh, a fundraising platform that um, the coaches at my school actually have used with great success. So, Tyler, um, for our listeners uh, that might not know uh, about what Snap Raise is and how it works, um, you know, take us through a, a basic tour of it, and then we'll come back and do kind of a deeper dive. So, uh, what is Snap Raise? SnapRaise is an online fundraising platform. So you'd have a rep in your area. They'd come visit the school. They'd talk to the coach first, coach them up on how to do a campaign. Um, when, when you have a campaign set up, you come in, you have the players uh, send out 20 emails to, um, I mean, loved ones, family members, and it doesn't have to just be locally. It can, you know, if you have a grandma living, you know, in 10 states, 
it's over, hey, send it to the grandma um, and they can donate as well. Um, and what happens then is there's a campaign. Uh, we shoot a video of what we're raising the money for. A uh, professional email, professional video gets sent out to those uh, in the email. Um, also, we uh, encourage send out social media um, messages to invite for uh, donations and, and fundraising opportunities. And um, just to make a long story short, um, after the uh, campaign's over, um, you get a big chunk of money, which you can contribute towards those uh, resources that we're trying to help you with. Um, what's huge for us is it's easy and efficient. That's what I always loved. Um, I started off as a coach and I've done every fundraiser you can think of. And I just felt like once I ran into um, Snap and I started using Snap, I eventually as an AD made my whole, my whole, um, all my coaches, the whole program, uh, use Snap, do one fundraiser, do it well. And we were able to uh, really create a lot of resources and give kids more and more opportunities. And I was talking a little about, about brand awareness and um, taking that Oregon effect. And we were able to do that. We were able to have the best looking team, attract people. And if they were going to the mall, all they had the best backpacks. And I, I just thought that was perceptions huge. Um, there's a guy that owns a basketball facility in Oregon. And he told me he had 140 something adult teams. And he always told me, he said, the reason I have success is because of the perception. Every single season, I make people order brand new jerseys and so when someone comes and watches a game and both teams have jerseys, you know, a home and away jersey, two referees, he had stats. He said it simulated like a high school, college, a professional game. And that perception was huge. So I always took that uh, when building brand awareness. Um, and Snap Rays was able to help me do that. And I always felt, too, um, along the way, um, I just feel like you're taking uh, money away from your program by not using them. And I know I work for them, but I chose to come work for them because of all the success that I had with them. And I mean, think about it, if you're selling, I'm not going to you know, pick on anything, but let's just say a candy bar and you know, a family that's well off, they're going to buy that candy bar. Family that's not well off is going to buy that candy bar, but you you basically capped uh, the family that's well off because I think that they would contribute if they didn't have a cap and they'll donate more money. Um, you know, if you're coming at them and just saying, Hey, we're just looking for donations. Um, they're willing to give a little bit more. Right. Um, and, and again, we're going to go into the, the details of, of how, you know, if uh, AD is listening or a coach is listening uh, in our next segment, but um, and it, you've already heard me say, you know, I, I had, I've had my own coaches at the school where I was the AD, you snap raised and it was very successful as an athletic director. You know, I, I want something that's, that's going to be legitimate. Um, it's not going to uh, bombard our parents, you know, with, with, uh, you know, email after email and an endless loop, and hopefully it's going to be successful. So um, real quickly, uh, there's a lot of different programs out there. Um, it, similar, let's say, uh, email fundraising programs out there, platforms. Um, why should an athletic director that's listening right now, why should they go with SnapRaise? What's different about it? Um, what's going to make it work for them? Um, well, the track record. So since 2014, we've raised over half a billion dollars. Um, we have very successful campaigns. Um, we had one school in Chicago over a three-year period raised seven hundred thousand um, dollars. I use them so I can talk off of experience. I used them, and we were able to create over a hundred thousand dollars in a short time, and that really helped our athletic program. So I think it's the best bang for the buck. Um, I feel like it's easy and efficient, but our competition is we're the first to do it. And I feel like we have the experts in that field to where we've been doing it so long and we keep, um, we just keep adapting, keep getting better and better. Um, our, the reps that I love um, in our program, or I, I mean, in uh, SNAP is they build relationships. They're almost like an assistant coach to coaches and they find out the problem. Um, they get a solution and they help them uh, create those funds. Right. I, I remember our uh, our coach uh, that uh, that first used it uh, just said, I don't have to do anything. You know, they do it everything for me. Uh, so and as an athletic director, you're always looking for that. You're looking for another assistant coach. Um, once again, for our listeners, our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb. He's with SnapRaise.com, but he's a longtime AD and coach himself. Uh, we're going to take a break, but we're going to 
we're going to come back and we're going to find out a little bit more about how snap raise can help you out. Please stay with us. This is the educational AD podcast. We also want to say thanks to huddle for their support. Remember at huddle, we power sports over 200,000 teams use huddle to help their athletes play better using video and analytics. Huddle's the complete performance platform. There's online tools. They have smart cameras. There's always been analytics, but there's so much more. Huddle's also built for every level of play from club and youth teams all the way through high school, college, and the pros use Huddle to help their athletes perform at the highest level. You're in pretty good company with over 6 million users, including your student athletes and the coaches of the teams you're trying to get to recruit them. If you want to find out more about how Huddle can help you and your program and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. Welcome back, everyone, to the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest today is Tyler Whitcomb, longtime athletic director and coach, and now he's with Snap Race. Tyler, you kind of gave us some broad brushstrokes there of the fundraising platform, but uh, do you have anything else you can share with us about Snap Race? Yeah, the thing I also love as an athletic director of using Snap Race is the money was safe and secure, and I knew it because I used a third party processing company. Um, I also love the fact that kids weren't handling money. So when I started off, uh, you know, we were selling the cards and basically kids were bringing me cash and checks and I just didn't like it, you know, how sticky uh, that can be sometimes. So I love the fact that everything's done online. Um, I felt like the money was safe and secure and we weren't putting ourselves in any sticky situations along the way. Um, but the thing I love about Snap Raise right now is it's, it's branding into Snap Mobile and they have a bunch of different, um, just a bunch of different um, parts of the company. So um, we have uh, Snap Spend, it's, uh, it's early access and wallet. And I mean, it can basically budget your whole athletic department. We have a Snap Store um, to where we can set up, we have the top name brands, Adidas, Nike, um, Under Armour. You can order clothes online um, and it gets shipped right to the person's house. Uh, so you don't have to be a middleman. Um, we have uh, Snap Insights to where an athletic director can look at future campaigns. You can really budget around what they think they can bring in from fundraising. Uh, you can look at your past fundraising. You can look at uh, what kids send in the most emails. So if you want to send a, like a prize or a gift, I mean, you can do that. There's just a lot of different, um, just a lot of different ways that we're going to uh, get into the um the athletic director uh, space to where we want to help athletic directors become successful. Um, I have a uh, branch called uh, the AD club that we're uh, getting ready to launch. And it's basically going to just be tying in people to great athletic director stories and podcasts, much like yours, and just being able to send them resources to make them successful tips um, even calendars, I mean, whatever it takes. And we want to be a voice in that athletic field so we can help athletic directors be successful, help their programs uh, not only fundraise, but be able to use our, um, our different products that we have. Uh, one of them also, we, we purchased 8 to 18. Now it's called Snap Manager to where you can do everything from scheduling, canceling games. Uh, you can have a, web, a website. I mean, we just have so much to offer now and we keep adding and adapting as years go on. Um, I'm very excited about working on Snap Race, but also I'm very excited about where where they've come and where they're going to go or where we are at and where we're going to go. And it's just um, one of those things where I'm excited every day to wake up and know that I work for Snap Race and understand that um, we're going to be helping um, not only coaches, but athletic directors. So in return, they can help those kids uh, uh, achieve success. Oh, absolutely. And, and we were very uh, excited when y'all reached out to us and, and wanted to partner with with the podcast. Uh, again, my coaches have used SnapRaise. It works, you know, and uh, I, I think it's good for our audience. So uh, we'll do this at the end of the podcast. But Tyler, if one of our listeners wants to reach out, find out more about the platform, or just kind of pick your brain a little bit, what's the best way that they can get a hold of you? Uh, if you want to look up some information, go to snapraise.com 
If you want to get a hold of me, it's Tyler, T Y L E R, dot Whitcomb, W H I T C O M B, at snapraise.com. And if you email me and you're trying to get some information, I'll pass your email on to uh, one of our sales rep in the area and they'll get back in touch with you right away. Okay. So again, the website, snapraise.com, and your email, tyler.whitcom at snapraise.com. All right. Our guest is Tyler Whitcomb from SnapRace, and we're going to take another break, but we'll be back with some more. This is the Educational AD Podcast. As I mentioned, SnapRace is one of our partners, and we want to say thanks. Go to SnapRace.com and see how better fundraising can make a better program. Get away from the headaches of the past. There's no more selling products. There's no upfront cost. Uh, you can track your participation, your data is secure, and what's more important, it actually works. Choosing the best fundraiser for you and your school is important, and you need to put the Snap Raise digital fundraising difference to work for your school. Go to their website, snapraise.com, and check out the thousands and thousands of dollars that they have helped athletic directors and coaches raise over the years. My own coaches at my school use Snap Raise and it was just fantastic. Change your fundraising game plan and start a fundraiser that works for you. Go to snapraise.com for more information. Welcome back everyone to the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest is Tyler Whitcomb of snapraise.com. Tyler, one of the questions we've been asking our athletic directors for a long time has to do with this idea of toughness. Uh, a long time ago when I was in high school, you know, our coaches would say things like, you know, come on, Jake, you got to be tough or come on, Jake, you got to suck it up. And we kind of knew what they meant. And, and we did it uh, in the many years since I was in high school. Uh, I think we figured out much better ways to communicate to student athletes. But I still think that toughness is an important component of athletics and of life in general. So here's my question. How can an athletic director or a coach or a leader help a kid to develop toughness um, while also being sensitive to the very real social challenges that a generation z kid is going through that i never had to experience back in the day uh, do you have any advice for us yeah i think a lot of it too it, it stems to is um, you know as a parent i get it i'm a parent and you want to console your kid when he fails and um, i've even had some parents uh, when a kid fails is blame other uh, reasons why and I feel like communication is huge. So in the beginning of the year, when I do the parents meeting, I talk about um, it's okay to fall. It's okay to fail. But what, what I need you to do is not make excuses, not blame officials, not blame the coaching um, of his playing time or her playing time. But basically what I need you to do is coach them up, teach them how to fail and how to um, build themselves back up, pick themselves up and be able to succeed after failure. I mean, that's huge because in life you're going to have that. And I mean, it shows toughness, it builds toughness and character. And I always, I always talk to kids. So after the loss, after a loss um, in the locker room, I'm not one of those coaches that would go off on a kid or go off on a team, you know, I would let them know, Hey, we, we failed in this area. Uh, we're gonna get back at it. And then the next day we would talk about why we failed and how we can uh, get back up and, and I feel like that built the toughness. So, so many kids have so many excuses why they fail. And I feel like it makes them weaker instead of just um, understanding why you failed. And we're going to be tough from it. We're going to learn from it. And we're going to get better. And we're going to pick ourselves up. Yeah, I really think you hit it on the head, uh, you know, two components, you know, you know, defining what we mean by tough, you know, communicating that. Uh, but understanding that it's it's a journey, you know, there, there's going to be some bumps uh, in the road along the way, you know, uh, very, very good stuff. Once again, for our listeners, our guest is Tyler Whitcomb. He's a longtime athletic director and coach uh, currently with snapraise.com. We're going to take another break, but we'll be back with some more. Please stay with us. This is the Educational AD Podcast. We also want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. They've got a variety of interactive touchscreen video consoles and an entire library of templates to help recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. 
Let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments and go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. You can also email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com for more information. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Educational AD Podcast. We've been visiting today with Tyler Whitcomb. He's a longtime coach and athletic director, and now he works with SnapRaise, uh, a really cool fundraising platform that uh, you know he shared with us. Um, but right now, Tyler, uh, I'm going to challenge you to send out a brand new athletic director on the very first job. But I'm only going to let you put three things in their toolbox. And the toolbox segment sponsored by Athletic uh, Director Surveys uh, by Lifetrack. Uh, we're going to hear from them after your suggestions. We'll do this a little bit differently today. But uh, what three tools are going to go going to go into Tyler Whitcomb's Athletic Director Toolbox? So first and foremost, uh, snap raise. I feel that you need to be able to fundraise, create resources for your athletic programs. Uh, the second tool would be Gipper. Um, I know that uh, they're one of your sponsors, but actually as an athletic director, I was big on brand awareness. So I'd come in, create the resource by fundraising. I would use Gipper uh, to have the great graphics, to have professional looking websites, to have professional looking social media content that you put out there. And, and then the third thing, honestly, is um, probably, I mean, some type of snap manager. I loved eight to 18 just because I had the website. I had everything all in one. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of good tools. I've used huddle for years, loved huddle. Um, and then now in the new space of ticketing, um, there's, uh, um, a few different ones in Michigan. We use go fan for tournament play. So I got familiar with them. Hometown ticketing is great as well. And even that new, uh, uh, what's it called? Ticket Spicket. They're pretty good as well. So, I mean, there's just a lot of good resources. Um, and I think too, uh, you have to have an arbiter for rep pay and, and for your uh, schedulers to be able to, or your signers to be able to schedule games for your officials. But those are the keys. Um, if, if you have those tools, you're going to be successful. Well, uh, I know our sponsors are really going to appreciate uh, all those shout outs, but uh, as a longtime athletic director myself, I, I can certainly speak to the value of, of having those platforms. Uh, one more time, Tyler, if one of our listeners wants to reach out and pick your brain or find out more about uh, Snap Race, how do they do it? Go to snapraise.com. There's a lot of information on there. Um, and, and if you can't get the information you're looking for, there's contact information on there. Um, and, and someone will get in touch with you right away. We value our customer. Uh, we value your time. So we will get in touch with you. Also, you can reach me at Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R dot Whitcomb, W-H-I-T-C-O-M-B at snapraise.com for any question. And if I can't answer it, I will send it to someone that can, or I'll send it on to a, a rep in your area to uh, be able to reach out to you to set up some campaigns. Good. Well, really good stuff today, Tyler. Thanks so much for being on the podcast. Thanks for sharing about Snap Race. Uh, thanks for being a sponsor. We certainly appreciate the support and all the best moving forward. I know you got some exciting things coming up with the platform. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. And again, I love what you're doing and I love the impact that you're having uh, with athletic directors. Uh, well, I certainly enjoy hearing the stories and uh, as long as people keep listening, we're going to keep doing them. Uh, speaking of our listeners, uh, remember, we uh, publish new content just about every day. And the Zoom recordings of these interviews get uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Uh, we appreciate you listening. Uh, we're going to finish with a couple of commercials, but uh, we'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast. Before we go, we really want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys allow you to quickly and easily collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. It also connects you with the 95% of the parents and the student athletes that really love your program, and it gives them a voice to help demonstrate the importance of a positive athletic experience. Go to athleticsurveys.com or email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. We use surveys for everything at my schools, teachers, coaches, parents, and student athletes. 
And like I said, the information that comes back is almost always overwhelmingly positive, but it gives that squeaky wheel parent an opportunity to vent and sometimes point out a small problem that you can address before it turns into a big problem because you didn't know about it because you didn't do the survey. Go to in, or email the good folks at Athletic Surveys at uh, info at athleticsurveys.com and get started. Let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. Thanks again for listening to today's episode. Uh, come back next time for more best practices on the Educational AD Podcast.